So we've really seen a lot of different components of Meteor. We've seen authentication, we've seen templates, reactivity, we've really seen a whole bunch of it. What I want to show you next is how to actually do the most important thing, and that's put your code into the world, which is really easy with Meteor. We're going to actually take our application now and deploy it to Meteor.com. All we need to do is Meteor deploy and give it a name. Meteor will automatically bundle our application, upload it, and deploy it onto their servers. Okay, so it's done. It's deployed our application to Meteor.com for us. Let's go check it out. You'll notice that they don't have the same data. That's because they don't have our local database. They created a new one and populated it. So most of you will probably end up deploying your applications with Heroku, so I thought I'd throw it in here. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's important to know about because it'll mean you have a less restricted environment to work with. So let's get started on that. First, we'll want to install the Heroku tool belt. Okay, so it's downloaded. Let's install it. Great, now we have Heroku installed. I'm not gonna show you how to set up your Heroku account and set up your SSH keys. I'm assuming that you've done that before, and if you haven't, it's really easy to do. Just go to Heroku. There's plenty of guides and documentation there to use. We're gonna be using the Heroku Meteorite Build Pack. It's pretty simple to set up. We just need to follow a couple steps. The first thing we need to do is check that our repo is in a clean state. We need to use Git for this. We'll just add all the files. Okay, so our repo is in a clean state. Now we can follow the guide. We'll just copy this line. We'll add a name to the end of it, just so we know what the application is being deployed as. So there, Heroku's created us a new stack, a new build pack. Now we just need to add the root URL. We'll use the generated domain. And now we just need to do one more thing, and that's add Mongo to it. Great, so it's added. Let's check that our remotes are set up properly. So there, we have Heroku as a remote. That's perfect. All we need to do is push to it. Okay, that didn't work. It looked like there were some permission problems. Okay, so I fixed the permission problems, but there were still some other issues. Let's go over what they were. Okay, so there were two mistakes I made while setting up. The first was that the root URL should begin with HTTP slash, otherwise Meteor will explode. The second thing is this version of Meteor requires a greater version of Node, so all we needed to do was define a package.json and tell it which Node version it wanted. So since we have those, we can now go check out our app. And here it is we've deployed it to Heroku. Since you didn't really get to see me push it out into the world, I'm gonna make a small change to the application and push it again, just so you can really see how an application is deployed. So 
So we're just making a small change, just some text. We'll add all those changes. And now we'll just push it again. You can see this time, it's actually using the greater version of Node. Okay, so it's been redeployed. Let's go check it out now. And there, we can see that I've made that text change, and it's now on Heroku.